Hey everybody, welcome to the Mandalay League. I'm John, as always, and it's the end of the month, which means it's time for the Loot Crate unboxing. Loot Crate, for those of you who haven't seen it before, is a box of nerdy, geeky stuff that you get every month for a subscription fee. My best description is always, it's a box of stuff that I would probably never buy just off the shelf. But I really, really enjoy getting in the mail for a subscription fee when I didn't actually choose it. Uh, if you want your own Loot Crate, you can get it by following this link down here. Uh, it's a pretty decent value. It's gotten significantly better in the past three months or so. Uh, they've started to do a lower number of items that are much higher quality in the crate. Uh, each crate, each month has a theme. This month's theme, I can't remember the name of exactly, but it has to do with time or, or Back to the Future, because, of course, Back to the Future Day was yesterday, the day before, October 21st, whenever that was. But we're going to open this crate and uh, see what's inside and I should have pre-cut and pre-opened it. There we go. All right, inside I'm seeing a uh, few big items here. Let's start off with the Pop Funko figure, if I can get it out. Pop Funko figure of Dr. Emmett Brown of Back to the Future fame. Uh, these are the figures that you've probably seen around these days. They're in everywhere now. I see them in uh, card stores quite often. They're the big, kind of cutesy-looking figures that have the big heads. Uh, they're made out of vinyl. I'm a pretty big fan of them, actually. I kind of like collecting them. I've got a significant number of the Magic the Gathering ones. But here we have Dr. Brown. Doc Brown, he's got uh, his jumper cables going there with a cool little effect going between them. Uh, cool goggles. Actually, pretty good Funko figure. Uh, a lot more detail than normal. A lot of them are just body head. That's it. And they look kind of like the thing. This has little accessories and little uh, fine touches. There's even a battery that the uh, jumper cables are coming from. But yeah, Funko uh, Doc Brown. I think these usually run like 15, 20 bucks in the store. Looks like we've got a t-shirt as well. There's not always a t-shirt, but there is often a t-shirt in the loot crate. And it's a good one, and it's a time travel one as well. Let's see if I can get this on camera. It is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. You've got Bill and Ted there, and it says, be excellent to each other. And that's good advice for life. Be excellent to each other, everybody. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure t-shirt. Nice retro look to it. Nice color. Pretty happy to have that. I will totally wear that. Well, <laughs> it's 2015, so we have hoverboards now, right? Well, at least I apparently have a hoverboard. Uh, One-fifth scale replica. Let's open this up and uh, see what the future has for us. Little card giving me what? Certificate of Authenticity. It is certified to have been created by Quantum Mechanics Incorporated under license from Universal Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. Loot Crate exclusive in here. And there is the lovely, lovely hoverboard on a nice mirror finish uh, piece of, I assume, plastic, actually, uh, on the bottom. But yeah, there's the hoverboard. You can see underneath it. It's got that awesome 80s vibe that uh, was totally what 2015 was going to look like. That's really actually, I'm not sure if you can see that well underneath. Maybe I can get in the reflection. Yeah, it's uh, really, really, really detailed. It's a very solid reproduction of the hoverboard. Uh, that's pretty cool. The box is excruciatingly 80s, but yeah, very, very, very cool uh, little piece of memorabilia there. Every month, of course, you get the button commemorating the theme, telling me that, yes, I was correct. This month's theme was indeed time. And uh, on the button, we have... Something that I don't actually know what it is. Is that the uh, the Fusion Junior from Back to the Future? You'll have to let me know if you know in the comments what that is on the uh, on the button there. Every month as well, you get yourself a handy dandy little book which has some interviews and some things about the theme. There's a mega crate that you can win every month. One person a month gets to win this crate that's usually worth thousands of dollars. This one appears to have a pretty damn awesome computer in it. Uh, basically all the parts to build it. Plus, uh, looks like a Doctor Who figure or something and uh, possibly a sonic screwdriver keychain. Some very cool items. And it also goes over what was in the crate. Cool little book. Not a big deal. Looks like we've got just one more item. Uh, again, 
a very small crate. Very small number of items, but very high quality. This one I haven't turned over yet, so I don't even know what it is. Uh, it is a, a Doctor Who Sonic Spork. A Doctor Who Sonic Spork. Loot Crate Exclusive. Looks like they've really ramped up the exclusives as well. I wonder if the... Funko. Yes, the Funko was a Loot Crate exclusive as well. Uh, the Funko Loot Crate exclusives are usually just a little thing, so maybe the uh, uh, the effect between the jumper cables isn't the one that they normally have or normally offer, or uh, maybe it glows in the dark or something. But let's open up this Sonic Spork and uh, see what a Sonic Spork is. It's, uh, it's exactly as described. It is a Sonic Screwdriver version of a spork. It is a sonic spork. It's actually pretty high class metal. Feels like stainless steel. Uh, yeah, sonic spork for all you Doctor Who fans out there who uh, need to be sporking their salads or whatever. And that looks like it's going to be about it. I see nothing else in the crate. All I see is a bunch of time travelers. Or actually, it's just the people from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure who they go back and see because there's the phone booth in the background. Pretty cool crate. Again, very low uh, number of items, but very high quality. We got the Sonic Spork. We got the Doc Brown Funko figure, the awesome hoverboard, and of course, the t-shirt. I, I thought there was something else. The t-shirt's on the ground. I won't try to stuff it into frame here, but very, very, very cool loot crate. Uh, I'm a medium-sized uh, Back to the Future fan, so I was a little bit nervous about this crate, but the items are awesome. The Doctor Who item was great. The Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure uh, t-shirt is awesome. Very, very happy with that loot crate. They have uh, been kind of knocking it out of the park. There was a while where I was thinking I was just going to cancel. Uh, because if you go back and you look at some of my earlier unboxings, you'll see they were pretty low quality items uh, and a large number of them. Uh, I'm very happy with this new low number of item, high quality uh, kind of stuff that we're getting. But as always, if you want to have your own loot crate, you can follow this link down here and subscribe. I believe it's about $32 in Canada with the current exchange rate and the annoying Canadian shipping and whatnot. In the US, I think it's only 20 bucks, and I know they ship to a number of different countries nowadays, but you can follow that link if you want to get your own. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Twitter at the Manaleek. that's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card, and you can also find me on Facebook at Facebook facebook.com slash the mana leak you've already found me here on youtube you've got the comment section down below let me know what your favorite item was in this loot crate let me know if you have loot crates let me know if you get them uh, and if you don't follow that link uh, as well if you like my videos you should click those little thumbs up icons and you should subscribe if you haven't that will keep you up to date on all the latest crack it back tuesdays wacky wednesday spiky saturdays top 10 thursdays and of course these monthly loot crate unboxings and the many other videos that pop up here and or there. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.